With Earth Day coming this Saturday, your Weather Authority Chief Meteorologist shares another way you can help the environment, especially when the weather gets warmer, Alex. We've talked about the big things you can do to help the environment. Our focus now is on a little thing everyone can do to help our littlest friends that have a big impact on our world. The humble honeybee does a lot of heavy lifting for us. Without them, our grocery stores would be pretty bare. Two thirds of the food at your local grocery store um, would not be there if it wasn't for honeybee pollination. So the ripple effect of these weather events um, are, can cause challenges to beekeepers. Climate change is pushing our weather to the extreme, putting more and more strain on bees and our food supply. For example, heavy rain in California this winter means less of certain foods this year. The bees could not get out because of all the rain in order to pollinate those crops. So you're going to see a shortage of almonds and peaches and nectarines coming out of California. A warmer and more extreme climate lengthens the growing season, so bees may not be ready when plants start blooming weeks earlier than they used to. Changes in the climate affects what crops can be planted locally, how long pests stick around, and when local plants bloom and produce nectar. This can lead to all sorts of complications for bees, like more pesticides being sprayed or long gaps between when they can collect nectar. Bees thrive in hotter temperatures, but hotter weather can lead to more swarming when half of the bees leave the hive in order to help cool it down. But if I lose half my workforce in my hives, I also lose honey production or the bees that I need to pollinate the next crop that might be coming along. So managing those with the amount of boxes and the timing that we put boxes on to give them room is critical to watching how the weather plays out. There are ways you can help getting a pollinator packet of seeds from your local garden store and planting them in a patch in your backyard goes a long way. And it helps all pollinators. It helps butterflies, it helps moths, it'll help um, all your native bees, which there's, you know, there's 1,500 types of native bees across the entire country. But just if everybody just does a little bit of a pollinator plot, a rising tide will raise all ships. Like with anything, buying local helps with a variety of things. It keeps revenue closer to home, it helps local beekeepers, and it cuts down on fossil fuel emissions related to shipping honey in from other areas of the world.